Next guest is a well-known fund manager who says he is bullish for now. Steve Luthold is the founder of Luthold Research Group, which manages a four billion dollars. Joining us from uh, Minneapolis, and Steve, uh, nice to see you again. It's been a while, um, and. You know, on a day, you're coming on a day when we've had some pretty good earnings reports coming out from Caterpillar, McDonald's, Freeport, McMoran. So when you look at that, and I know your target for the S&P is 1260. When you look at that, do you think, in fact, you could exceed, we could ex exceed even your highs for this year in the markets? Oh, I, I suppose that certainly could be. Uh, I'm looking for a, I guess I'm not too willing to look much beyond 2010 because I think there's a giant gorilla in the room when we go out to 2011, 2012, and that's... Which is, which is the, the deficit. The budget deficit, right, okay. right. But I think for now, uh, I think the momentum is there from an earnings standpoint. I think you're gonna have a, a pretty good Christmas. You've got a lot of people that have refinanced their mortgages, and uh, they've got some money to spare uh, with lower mortgage payments, and. After all, 90% of the people are employed in the U.S., mm -hmm. so well, right. it could be better than we think. Uh, but for the 10%, of course, it's not who are unemployed. However, Steve, though, uh, we've got this, this, this disconnect, do you not think, uh, where earnings have come in so far so good, uh, yet the Fed continues to talk about it, and we continue to expect this QE2, and therefore that is why a man such as yourself is worried about 2011. Absolutely. I mean, QE2 is a euphemism for printing money, and that's exactly what we've had QE1, and now we're going to have QE2. And in terms of destroying confidence in the United States and our currency, this is certainly a way to do it. And that's why I'm worried about the out years here. And yet, Steve, you've increased your asset allocation to more stocks. Where you, what are you, like 70 percent in stocks now? Well, we're 60% we're in the funds, and I'm about, in my hedge fund, I'm 68 or 69. And that could be pulled back, and we've done that mostly with ETFs, and there's quite a bit of liquidity there, and we can withdraw that pretty quickly. Okay, and do you expect that, and I mean, the fact that you are in, ET, in ETFs is because you think, Steve, that some point in 2011 you will have to pull out pretty quickly? Well, I think maybe that's true with the U.S. market. Now, actually, half of our assets, half of our equity assets are outside the United States and with a big focus on Asia, which includes China and maybe a little bit in Japan. But uh, the U.S. is not the strong growing country in the world. And our business is to go where there's earnings growth, where there's dynamic economic growth, okay. and where... Uh, so...